Hey folks, CLG here. So, I am a big fan of extremely cold, frozen, hardcore winters. That's why I'm in Minnesota, and I never left. But that's not cold enough for me. I want to see some real Arctic shit. Alright, that's the best way I can describe it. You got Greenland, Iceland, big deal. Here's the place I'm talking about, right over here, Svalbard. Svalbard, I discovered this one day, just Googling around and going, wow, this place is awesome. Let's just zoom down. I'm gonna show you one little town here. See if I can find it here, give me a second. Remember, the name is Svalbard. So in Svalbard, the place I would go first would be right, where is it? Right here. I can find it. It's called Long Yerbyun. This place is freaking awesome. Let's take a look. As you zoom in, you can see that they even have a Radisson Hotel. <laughs> this would be the easiest place to go to. Um, it's awesome. Let's go switch to maps. Look at this, man. Just an Arctic community where it is illegal to die. Did some, uh, some brushing up in this place. If you're going to live here, you have to make arrangements for where your body is going to go when you die. And you need to speak Norwegian. Either one I can do. Well, I, mean, I can die, but I'm not sure where my body would go. But I just thought this is the coolest place on earth. I don't know why. Look at this. Let's take a quick look. Do a quick look here. Look at this place, man. I think this is the college right here. Look at that. <laughs> I just think this is the coolest place there is, man. And the Google car was there, so it's got to be, you know. Look at them. They're driving excellent cars, man. This place is as modern as you can get. Here's the university. I believe that's a university. I could be wrong, but I think that's the college. And I even looked up the uh, academic list of what they have there. A lot of it's like biology, um, you know, because you're in, you're in the Arctic Circle. Well, you're in the Arctic area here. But look at the scenery. There's even a guy who does a ham radio. Um, there's a ham shack somewhere there where this, this guy goes to. Let me find that real quick. So there's people doing ham radio in Svalbard. JW8 Echo Kilo Alpha. But there was a YouTube channel of a guy that actually went there. He documented his trip. I don't want to see if I can find it. I probably can't. It was somewhere on here. This expedition dude here. Maybe this is the guy. I don't know. They had a ham station somewhere. Okay, there's the antenna. I don't think this is the same one, but anyway. Um... So here's another like winter view of, I think, I'm not sure, this is in 2015, but here's how they get around, snowmobile, like, like real snowmobile, man. And I guess the way it works here is when you are in this part of the world, yeah, this is winter time here, this is snow time, that's funny. Um, typically you'll see people with high-powered rifles slung around their backs I guess from what I've read because there are polar bear and this isn't like tame polar bears these are wild ass animals you know like real polar bears you know um, don't know what this is here maybe this is uh, some kind of tourist place but it looks modern as hell you know and I guess it's like technology is top of the line here high-speed internet whatever um, but man, I just think this would be the coolest place to go. 
don't know why. I might not ever go here, but I just have a strong desire to uh, to do this. Svalbard. And like I said earlier, um, you're not, it is illegal to die here. You have to make provisions for your body is going to be shipped when you die. And I think is it some of these Arctic stations, like these science stations in the Arctic and, and Antarctic. Um, so that would be, oh, this is an old building here. Wow, that's old, man. God. So the history of Svalbard, I don't know why people decided to go there. There may have been some mineral or it may have been a Russian, some kind of Russian deal or some kind of mining operation that just didn't really work or it's something still going on there. But um, geology is probably the number one thing here. But uh, yeah, could I do it here and do AutoCAD drafting? I don't know, maybe. Um, but like I say, I uh, need to learn how to speak Norwegian before even attempting doing this. I would need to get my teeth fixed because I know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I finished my sentences, what I just said, but if a person wanted to take a job in one of the Arctic science stations in the Arctic or Antarctic, one of the, one of the requirements is to have good health before you go and your teeth need to be perfect. You can't be have dental problems. I don't know why that is, but it's one of the requirements. So anyway, here's one more town in Svalbard, uh, Primidian, or is it Pyramidian? This looks like more of an industrial kind of, whatever they do here, I don't know. There's a hotel right here. Let's take a look at the hotel real quick. Can I get to it? Yeah, I can. Okay, there it is. Ooh, look at that. Looks like Russian kind of hotel shit, man. That's a hotel. That's a serious hotel. Looks pretty uh, gothic. Wow, man. So, anyway. Yeah, so there you go, Svalbard. Um, don't know if that's just something that I would be doing uh, ever, really. But I've looked at Iceland. I actually was looking at Reykjavik at one time. I think Reykjavik, is that in Iceland? Can't remember. I think Reykjavik is here. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway. Uh, I'm not interested in Greenland. It's too, huge, too big, too huge. Um, there's some other locations here off of the northern edge of Siberia, I guess it would be. And also, I've zoomed down around somewhere in this, this you know, interior of Russia, and I've seen things. You wouldn't believe what, what you see if you zoom down. I can't remember. There was, um, where was it? Let's look over here. <laughs> Zoom down and I found a community that had like a skate park. People walking around and skate, you know, like a skateboard, punk clothes, coffee shops, bars, restaurants. It was like just out of nowhere. Could have been down here somewhere. I don't know, but I was like, wow. So anyway, anyway, I'm just zooming around looking at weird stuff as I close it down for the night. 73 folks, have a good night. We'll talk to you soon.